Welcome back, everyone, and welcome to the after show for issue 33 of The Powers That Be. This one was, how did it come to this? And I think that's a question we're all going to be asking ourselves for the next week and a half, at least. Um, so, yeah, this was uh, this 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 was a lot. This was a lot. <laughs> um, so we're going to start with uh, with Stars and Wishes, and I'm going to be very glad that I usually wait to go to the till near the end. Uh, and today, I think we're going to start with Julie. <laughs> just <laughs> totally beyond possibility to cope. She just wants to smack the shit out of something. <laughs> and I concur. Like, yeah. just, I really just want to push both of them off into the void. Just let the motherfuckers cry. I don't care. I have to say that that Ray, the storytelling character work that you were doing with all of that was absolutely fantastic. Everybody else was doing great reaction to that, and it was it was hard to keep up. I mean, it was just there was a, a lot of information, and my brain just could not process. So I'm gonna blame Patrick for that. Because, you know, yeah. It has nothing to do with that whole two week camping trip. Yeah. Most nope. of us were on. Yeah, except that two of us were there for almost three weeks, and that just. It's a lot. Yep. Oof. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, so we'll go over to Matt next. Matt. Oh, good. <laughs> Thanks, Trevor. You're, yep. Hey, it just you're like you the can... teacher. Hmm? You're like the teachers, like, oh, he's acting up. Put him on the spot. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. But hey, it just means that okay. you get you can do your stars and your wishes with less chance of like already repeating something. Yes. Well, <laughs> definitely stars to Ray for the whole symbiote saga story arc thing. <laughs> um also for not, you know, becoming jealous boyfriend when I inadvertently snuggled with his girlfriend um <laughs> calamity's hot <laughs> yeah and she yeah. you know smells nice even if it's you know cordite and a little bit of sweat too but you know <laughs> what you gonna depends do depends on your taste bro yep um i mean it, a lot. It, it it sort of goes without saying stars to patrick for this you know absolute mind fuck of yeah why don't we just throw the entire lovecraft mythos at them at the end of all of this and just to wash. yeah yeah we see what happens we were playing powers that be and in reality it was call of cthulhu yeah <laughs> yeah so there is no tree <laughs> well, sorry you know we're <laughs> except we're not because apparently narlatha hotep is one of our party members. So, <laughs> um, you know, that's... getting into an argument with Yog Sothoth, no less. Yes. Yeah. Who, you know, really needs a kick in the interdimensional nards. Um, <laughs> I mean, stars to everybody else for putting up with my punchy, froggy throated ass tonight. I don't, I don't know what half of the shit that was coming out of my mouth was, but y'all seem to put up with it so my goodness if only this has been this had been recorded somewhere that you could go back and watch it later hmm. <laughs> no no god no <laughs> sweet cthulhu god no i i hate hearing the record my recorded voice as it is <laughs> of course you know i'm so growly gravelly right now that probably doesn't sound like me so i don't know yeah it is what it is another souvenir of that two-week camping trip anyway yep so uh, i'll stop babbling well, randomly and move on uh wishes wishes well it'll be interesting to see how them queen's gambit folks get out of this one um <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to fight Cthulhu next. Um, 
so that'll be interesting. Um, actually, looking at my uh, tier six ability options, I'm voting for. You know, we go that route. Um, oops, telling stories out of school that that wasn't recorded. So that's all right. Um, just ignore that. So it'll be interesting <laughs> to see how this whole thing ends and if we can wrap it up in one more session or if it's going to be a, a three-parter for the yeah. f finale. Um, other wish is once we wrap, yeah, I, I don't want the fun to stop. I'm really enjoying this particular ride and this group of, of friends who I've all b become closer to. So, um, that's that's my main wish is we keep doing this in some capacity seriously we're 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 gonna have to have like you know assuming that we get out of this you know successfully we will have to have the the sequel campaign in numenera when they all come back <laughs> all right let's yeah go that's <laughs> that's season six or something right? at least yeah all right let's go over to <laughs> ecat uh okay um stars to um ray for re uh, like julia said really working the whole conversations with the symbiotes and really getting into that character as we're coming to the end like gene seems to really be coming in or strongly into his own now that he's got a really good communication pathway with Eddie. Um, also to Matt for taking out Obey with a taser and then just pummeling <laughs> his ass. That was kind of cathartic. <laughs> <laughs> um, and of course, as always, to Patrick for I don't know what the hell is in those cigarettes you're smoking, man, but <laughs> It's fun <laughs> <laughs> and wishes. I, I, I agree with Matt of the whole, I want, I'm, I'm glad that we've all agreed already. I mean, we're not making it secret that we're going to continue playing. Just, we're just going to move to a different world for a little while. Yep. And I'm interested. I'm looking forward to exploring different aspects of our inner multiple personality syndrome mm -hmm. together um but yeah it's been fun and yeah we're gonna fight an elder god okay like you do yeah yeah <laughs> but you aren't fighting any of the outer beings now so you know it does like oh down. well that's such that a bonus <laughs> <laughs> at, at this point i think we take the small victories where we can get them all right ray Hi. Uh thank you. I, I I really appreciate the uh positive feedback cuz I Ecat and Matt you can talk to Trevor whenever we started the first uh cipher game. Like this is only my second real campaign. <laughs> I've been gamer adjacent for half of my freaking life. So um, this is the stars for to all of you for the, working with me and um, helping out and allowing me to just ex explore this and giving me the feedback so I can help make this a cool story to tell. Uh, yeah, yeah, Patrick, you're fucking brilliant. We know that. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> um start a ecat for coming up with ideas especially because they're vindictively motivated <laughs> um and for giving gen x a uh, a chance um given shit that transpired with the blowing over you know, let's let's put yeah. out the fire. Want to put out a fire? You want to put out a fire, and then coffee. Then you can have coffee. Want coffee? Just put out a fire. She still uh, hasn't forgiven him. I Just, I didn't know. say. <laughs> I didn't say that. 
I don't care if it was coffee motivated. It's still <laughs> healthy objective and it's working together. <laughs> um, and really stars for everybody for being like, we are all on fucking edge. And I am sure that I wasn't the only one. Like I'm tr vainly trying to, it's like, wh where's, where's the loophole? Where, how is it possible to be one step ahead or beside? How can we, how can we throw, what is the right wrench to throw in this bag of monkey works in order to achieve the ultimate objective and not just door number one, door number two, or door number three, as it's presented to us. So, um, stars for everybody for really racking your brains on trying to assess like you know what 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 are what are the what are you not telling what's the trap what's the trick um and being as resolute as as you are in in uh you know trying to figure this the fuck out because i'll be honest like i I went to the absolute edge, I feel, of my competence and really like stretching the character and trying to test uh, Patrick's limits of what I could do. And it bent and it didn't break, yep. but like I need a little bit something else and y'all are y'all are coming through, man. So it's awesome. Um, if, if we, we made it this far and I think we can pull something out of our royal gambit asses next week or week at week and a half from now to make this happen wishes um keep keep up let's let's keep that edge let's keep that edge going uh because it is beatable because the four of us one, two, three, four, five, five of us. Um, we can make it work. We can figure something out that will make Patrick go the fuck. <laughs> and so all we got to do is just keep working together on this and uh, not settle for the crumbs put in front of us. So good job teammates. All right. Uh, for me, um, I'm going to try to be a little more specific than usual. Um, so Patrick, you know, obviously in addition to everything else, but specifically for putting the interesting choices in front of us um, and, you know, giving us those options to weigh rather than just, you know, you know, option A is good. Option B is bad. Um, you know, it's it, it is, you know, as others have said, and as Ray just spoke very eloquently to, you know, it's making us think it's making us try to solve the puzzle rather than just, you know, I will do the thing that is right. Um, you know, and we're, we're actually, you know, this is where it is a strategy game. Um, and I think that is awesome. Um, yeah, uh, Ray, um, again, very, you know, for the for the interactions in general, but very specifically for the way that you are, I mean, it it is becoming very obvious when Gene is at the forefront and when Eddie is at the forefront, and that is a very difficult thing to do, uh, and you are doing it masterfully. Um, so that is that is awesome to see. Um, Ecat and Matt, um, you know, again, coming up with ideas, thinking outside the box, you know, and, and getting, you know, kind of the point to almost to the point of, well, shit, let's try it and see what happens. Um, but then stepping back and actually considering it, which I think is something that Crash is getting really tired of. Uh, and eventually he's just going to, like, <laughs> kill someone just because he can. Um, and I think Pa is going to be right there with him because I, I think Julie... Um, I, I'm guessing that 
but it is both you and Pa that is that are kind of frustrated at the lack of shit to just beat up. Um mm -hmm. but it that is um that is coming through well and but not like not out of control. Um very, very well done. Uh yeah, uh wishes, um Either that we have the power to take down another god, or we find some other way to, you know, get around it. Because, yes, you know, I I understand, you know, Ecat, I understand that that Neva is living on borrowed time, and Matt, I understand that Jack is, you know, this amalgam beast. But they can't destroy the Earth. This is where all my shit is. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly. going to destroy the Earth. We're going to feed Earth. Sentinel. And, and statesman to Cthulhu, and hopefully he gets a stomach ache, <laughs> and it'll be all good. There you go. Um, so yeah, so that I, you know, I, I am, I am eager to see the end of the story, not because I want the story to end, but because I want to see the satisfying conclusion of what we've done for these now 33, 34, if you count the annual, I think. Uh, episodes because we've done a really really good story that we can all be very proud of and I want to see I want to see that wrap up nicely um, and for that I will pass it over to Patrick all right well first to uh, explain to anyone uh, listening to this the I've given uh, everybody a horrifying choice because I love doing that to people as <laughs> I want to tell from the story tonight um, I've decided that the party has a choice with their experiences that either they can go into the final episode with experience points and, you know, basically be at the level they are perhaps with a, another skill, but they can have a whole bunch of experience to re-roll bad rolls, or the whole party can go up to tier six and get really new cool abilities, but have absolutely no safety net to go with it. So they'll be deciding this uh, before our next time. I'm really curious as to see which way they'll go. <laughs> um, so that said, um, stars, uh, everybody did marvelously tonight. We have, uh, you know, people have really delved into not just their characters, but how their characters have changed throughout the story, which is my favorite part of all of this, is nobody is where they started from, like, you know, uh, Gen X was a washed up old has been who couldn't trust his powers and they didn't work terribly well. Uh, Crash was a miscreant who really didn't care about anyone other than himself and his own book. Uh, uh, Neva was, you know, young, innocent and trying to figure out what she wanted to do with herself. And now, you know, has not only a plan, but keeps finding herself taking control of the situation, much in spite of her own desire you now just to stay the heck out of everything, but she can't. And of course, Pa started out just wanting to beat the snot out of everything in sight and is now taking much more responsibility for her community and the place she lives and the her own people and the pe people that are around her. Um, but as far as wishes... beat the snot out um, of things. Yes. As far as wishes, uh, one thing I really... Hope I get just to see just for a second and... here. I noted you skipped over Jackdaw, who is still okay, the so... lovable asshole that he was at when he was introduced. So anyway, please continue. Yeah, he is he is a lovable asshole, but now he's a lovable asshole who does not trust his own brain because of where it came from. <laughs> that and he's also went from being kind of an anonymous nobody to turning up out to being one of the most important people walking the face of the earth. You know, for instance, I, I find it interesting that Jack did not pursue the one angle of stay out of the fight because if it's a Pyrrhic victory, you can still get everything back together. Because somewhere inside of your head is how to make more heroes. So that's an interesting, uh, an interesting point. Yeah, but so, fuck those guys. <laughs> so my, Look what one the of my, have done so far. <laughs> one of my big wishes for next time, though, is I'm really looking forward to Paw squaring off against everyone's favorite primal horror, 
Grand Cthulhu himself, which, you know, she is barely the size of its smallest toe. But I very, very much see her going, come on, motherfucker, I'll get you. And I'm looking forward to that because that's exactly how she works. Yep. And also uh, how you guys are going to manage what is uh, what what you guys have to face. And then at the end of it, I hope we have enough time to kind of roll a little bit into the future. And what's going to happen is the consequences of everything that happened. Because a lot of stuff is about to go down. The world's not going to be, you know, the same place it was before. That was part of the plan all along. And, well, it, of course, didn't go the way that I wanted to. What part of the story has. <laughs> but You're we did kind of circle back to, to where I wanted to get to, <laughs> which is that, you know, Big Sophie's choice of do you keep the world or not? Because another choice you guys had, even though you didn't think about this one or you didn't uh, take it into uh, due consideration is let the world die. You could leave with Erebus. There wasn't, he has a means to get out. The rest of you might be able to join them and just start over somewhere else. But once again, even though, you know, some of you don't consider yourself to be heroes. Well, you know, fighting cosmic horrors in order to save the planet versus saving yourselves. That's a different thing. You didn't even consider that. So just in case for those of you who think that maybe your people aren't all that heroic, well, you kind of are. I'm just trying to have a decent cup of coffee, dude. <laughs> yeah, actually, that That's why we can't take the, the plan, Patrick, to just leave with Erebus, is we'd right. be leaving the coffee machine behind. Exactly. Yeah, would. And yes. we'd be leaving and Tink Tink. behind so she couldn't make us another one. Exactly. Right. <laughs> this is all, we are just 100% coffee motivated. Right. Yep, that's all. Coffee and spite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Well, it'll see, be cool to see what happens next time. So I, I'm now imagining like Tink in her in her lab, you know, kind of looking outside, seeing this giant, you know, primal eldritch horror coming out of the east river. Like, I'm so glad I gave that life up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, ah, yeah, I think um, unless anyone has anything they want to bring up before we adjourn. All right. Um, yeah. So in that case, uh, like I said, we should be back on August 26th, which is a week and a half from about now. I do apologize for the last minute schedule change. But, you know, as you heard, most of these guys just spent the last two plus weeks uh, camping and playing medieval with 9000 something of our closest friends. Uh, and a little bit of extra time to recover was not unwarranted. So. All right. So we're going to, like I said, we're going to wrap this up. But until next time, for Patrick, Ecat, Matt, Julie, and Ray, I am Trevor, the Vitruvian people. Have a good night.